Hi, this is Bruce and today with Anilek we're going to look at how to create an image gallery using uh, Bootstrap um, and uh, Lightbox. Um, obviously with uh, also with jQuery and uh, some, some custom CSS. So to start off here I've got, uh, I've, I've created a, a page called gallery.php um, and I've got the uh, Bootstrap starter template all hooked up and ready to go. And then over here you can see we've got uh, um, that page open inside Sublime Text. I've got the uh, starter template CSS connected. You can see there's not much in here, so I'm just going to add to this one, um, which is located right here um, in order to create the gallery. Um, and I've also got uh, some images that uh, I'm going to be using. I've got some full-size images at 1920 by 1200 and some thumbnail images here um, at uh, 300 by whatever. Okay, so let's just head over here and I'll change the name. And then down here Okay, so let me just quickly set up a, uh, a div um, with a class of row. And uh, another div with a class of column small 12. And with Emmet installed on Sublime Text, I hit tab and obviously it expands out to be what I'd like. So if I wanted to insert an image, what I would do is I'd specify the image using its uh, URL in an, inside an image tag or using the uh, its source. So it's gallery wakeboarding wakeboarding thumbs image 7053.jpg and I'm going to give it a class of image responsive let's upload that and we'll upload these images as well so I'm going to upload the whole folder and let's see if we get an image Ta -da. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got uh, our first image, um, and now what I'm going to do is pause a little bit and uh, add all the other images since it's uh, um, just a little time consuming to change all the uh, names. Okay, so you can see I've updated all the uh, um, image thumbnail names and uh, saved it and uploaded. And if we check it out online, you can see that we've got. Uh, uh, 12 images here, uh, or 12 image thumbs. So now what I want to do is to create some, uh, some columns. Um, so what I'm going to do is have three columns with four images each. So one, two, three, four. Um, and then one, two, three, four. And, and so now what I'm doing is I'm inserting some columns and that looks pretty good come up here and change this to four so we've got and let me just 
outdent these so we can see where they end. Get rid of a couple extra lines here just to clean things up. Okay, and we're looking good. So I'm going to save that, upload it, and let's hope we've got some nice, neat columns. And that's looking pretty good. Obviously, we'll have to add some uh, padding and stuff with some CSS um, to, to help out, but I think we're looking pretty good for now. So next thing we want to do is to, um, when we click on uh, an image, to be able to um, see a large image and Lightbox provides a handy um, JavaScript for, for being able to do that. So you can see here, I've typed, I'm searching for Lightbox. I'm going to Lokesh Dakar's uh, Lightbox, and I'm going to download it. So I'm going to download it into my Downloads folder. And then I will unzip it. And then we'll take the uh, Lightbox 2 Master and plop it into our project. So next thing we want to do is we want to, well, let's just take a quick look at the example. So you can see here what they, what they do is they have the, thumbnail image right here um, as the uh, image source. And then they have, uh, the, and they put that inside um, a link that has an href linking to the larger image. Um, after that, um, they've got the uh, data lightbox class that you can see right here that um, gives the name of the gallery. So what, so what we'll do is we'll take a look at how to uh, implement this. So first thing we'll need to do is to add a link to the CSS. So I'm going to come up here to my CSS and add that. So you can see here, there's my gallery. Um, and then Lightbox 2 Master is inside that. So I've got the Lightbox 2 Master folder here. And then inside that, there's a distribution folder, a CSS folder, and there is the Lightbox CSS. And just while we're here, we'll upload that. And the next thing we'll need to do is to copy the JavaScript. So, so, copy that, and come down here, making sure I'm below um, jQuery, and I've pasted the JavaScript, and again, we're just going to have to update the folder to be, to point to Lightbox to Master. And now if we upload that, and we'll just double check to see that we're getting no no errors in the console, but of course we are. So I need to, up to update the images and I need to
add jQuery. Sorry, I need to upload the images. So there's the images folder. Lightbox.min.js. And now we're good. Okay. So let's see if we can't add what we need in order to be able to um, have the, uh, the thumbnail images linked to the larger images. So if you remember from this, we have an, a link before the images. So I'm just going to Highlight the image tag, command control G to select them all. Then I'm going to paste that link. And then I'm going to click after the links and close the A. Then I'm going to set all the example sets and change example set to wakeboarding. And then I'm going to copy this image and I'll put it into where the link is. Let me just upload that. And if everything is okay, this one should upload and show a large image. Um, none of the rest will work, of course. Um, but and, but I, what, what I will do is uh, I will update all the other images um, and then, uh, then we'll be able to, to see everything live. So thanks very much for watching. I hope this helps.